Hey, what's going on, guys? My name is Jay. More than after kill, and I'm back here on Destiny. And it's Friday. And we all know what Friday means on my motherfucking channel, right? <laughs> That's right. It's time for another visit from Sure, the Egypt of the '90s rare NPC that shows up in a tower with a reef once a week with a backpack filled of exotic gear and weaponry. But it's also that special time of night where we try to get this video done before the Viking and painkillers kick in and Mac is totally rendered useless for commentary. <laughs> but let's go ahead and see if this motherfucker is actually useful or not. The first week of year three of the rise of... I, 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 I'm sorry, I... I, that, that hurts my tooth way too fucking much to be going in the deep fucking voice like that. But yes, the rise of iron. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see what this motherfucker is droning on in the background about in his inventory this week. <laughs> all right, all right, can we get a slow clap up in this bitch? For all you warlocks out there that have been complaining for the last two years that y'all motherfuckers ain't got no exotic boots y'all can go ahead and shut the fuck up with that shit now <laughs> you got the transvestite steps the transversive steps <laughs> the transvestite steps <laughs> from now on this will forever be known as the transvestite steps on the fucking channel <laughs> This is a pair of Warlock boots. It's actually 350 in light. So those of you guys trying to play catch up, get a little bit of extra light for uh, the raids that are probably dropping later on today. Uh, looks like we got 350 all across the board, even on the primary there. So we got a little bit of infusion fuel, even if you see nothing that you like. But if you are a Warlock and you want to pick up your transvestite steps, it will allow you to have faster movement speed while crouching ammo pickups automatically reload that type of weapon and we got discipline and strength not a bad piece of gear this could be a lot worse you could have the sunbreaker for six weeks in a row <laughs> you guys remember that shit warlock tears warlock tears on friday all year long in year one destiny that shit was hilarious but those of you guys that, that play on the hunter side of things we have the celestial beast hug which i'm actually gonna go ahead and pick up we got an intellect and strength roll and also 350 defense right there what this does is allows you to trade in all three shots of your golden gun for one super powerful shot that does six times damage and when you combine that with the actual Deadeye perk that gives it a, a significant damage buff of the Golden Gun. I think we did the math on it. It's like somewhere between like six to 900% stronger than what you would see with the uh, year one Golden Gun. So definitely, definitely a good piece of gear for those of you guys out there. I like to play on the Hunter side of life. And if you like to play on the Titan side of life, but you want to do your best Titan, best Titan, best Hunter impersonation, we have the Twilight Garrison, which will allow you to pretty much do a shade step with the Titan by pushing double O, double circle, whatever you want to call it, and you're able to just go whoosh to the side. Kind of gives you a little bit of uh, invincibility frames there. Shake off some grenades, a little bit of dot damage, and really confuse people with your erratic movements the same way that uh, Night Stalkers do. And I, I think that Viking had just kicked it. <laughs> Let's go ahead and hurry this shit up. But there's you guys out there that want to complete your year one. I don't know if this actually contains year two shit now either. Um, I don't think so because this is year two shit right here. Although it doesn't have the Taken King logo at the top anymore. Uh, but if you want to fill out your collection, you want to get a good old fashioned year one hand job this is the place to go you're just gonna hook that up for you for 29 strange coins a little bit more expensive than the uh the fresh stuff but you can't put a price on a good old fashion <laughs> and in case you need a little bit of infused fuel or you just want to run in the crucible with the monte carlo i've heard this thing's actually pretty much a, a goddamn verified beast Ever since they buffed this archetype, this is the Monte Carlo. Uh, we also have ornaments for it. Let's go ahead and preview that 
right? You got a nice sleek black and red bread pink job and a royal flush. Ooh. Hot damn eggs and spam in a frying pan. Come to fucking papa. That is just sexy. But what it is, is an uh, auto rifle that allows you to uh, recharge your melee cooldown. And it also uh, recharges it fully with each kill. So a lot of people like to run this in the Crucible. You see a lot of warlocks running this, actually. Because then they can just wave their hand from a mile away and you, you die. Because that's what warlocks do. Apparently they can melee you from shotgun distance. I don't agree with that either. <laughs> but yeah, so if you want to go ahead and pick I might actually, you know what, let's go ahead and pick that up just to add it in to our collection. If anything, we'll have a little bit of infused fuel for uh, some of the weapons that we've been rocking recently. I don't, I'm not going to go ahead and show you what's in this, uh, this pile though, because we, we got some pretty damn good weapons last night. I'm going to upload that video sometime in the next 24 hours for you guys. A little bit of random funny moments from some of my PvP-ness last week. Yeah, I'm going to show you my PvP-ness. <laughs> uh, we have the, uh, oh, this this is the black and red ornament for the uh, Monte Carlo. Apparently, he's selling these now for silver dust, which uh, you get in the, the, the packages, the radiant packages. I think you get, what, three free of them a week if you do it on each character. Uh, and you can also get five silver dust for dismantling the ones that you get inside your pack. Or you can head to the Eververse and you can go ahead and buy silver and ornaments and dust. And you can, you know, put, put a little bit of extra cash into your game to try to get these. But I... Personally, I, I don't think I'm going to be spending any extra money. If, if, if the game came with, like, more than one strike in a DLC, yeah, I, I'd spend some money on some microtransactions. But um, I'm not going to I'm not gonna start throwing money at Bungie until they start throwing some content at me that I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> but those of you guys out there that don't know what this bottom road is, maybe you haven't played Destiny for a while, or maybe you're just curious because you never made it this far into one of my videos. <laughs> we have Jer's Dirty Needle Exchange. What this will allow you to do is re-roll the interior perks on exotics. So last week we actually re-rolled my Graviton forfeit. I ended up with an intellect and strength roll on it with ashes, the assets which gain bonus super energy on grenade kills, which is a really decent perk for PvP. And you notice that it goes with my 155 build. We got maxed out to uh, strengths and discipline for my my melee and my grenades on my night stalker and just a little bit of extra intellect to boot because why the fuck not <laughs> but yes you, you'll go ahead and re-roll the interior perks of your uh exotic and it won't mess with your light level or your progression it keeps your entire progress on even if this was only half leveled up it would keep that entire progress that you have all three perks would still be unlocked, except for these two would not. And, uh, like I said, it doesn't mess with your light level at all. It's actually a pretty handy feature. However, be warned, it can get quite addictive. It can get quite addictive. Then, for, for, for once, I'm fucking wrong about something. A uh, prediction that I made was that the Three of Coins might be leaving Jer's loot pool and being made a little bit more obscure and hard to find in year three of Destiny, but in a in a weird turn of events, no, they've kept them, but they, they've they nerfed their efficiency just a little bit, because I, I used to get one out of, like, every three or four three of coins, now it seems like one out of, like, six or seven, that makes sense, actually, because that's Bungie's number seven, <laughs> so what this allows you to do is extract exotic engrams from ultra-level bosses from the end of strikes, or from uh, Crucible matches. It also works for uh, Sparrow Racing League, which should be coming back in a few months, sometime around d December. And then we also have the Heavy Ammo Synthesis. In case you don't want to spend your strange coins on the Heavy Ammo, we're already out here in the reef, so go on out and check over at Varric's and buy some Heavy from him, yes. <laughs> All you gotta do is give him some Ether Seeds, a little bit of Glimrar, and you'll be able to pick up some Heavy Ammo a lot cheaper than what Jure sells you. But if you do have a plethora of strange coins laying around, and you do want to get some extra faction rep, I know a lot of people have been forcing their factions to update and give them packages just 
by buying strange coins because some people have thousands of these laying around. I, however, do not. So we're not going to waste any strange coins on that. But if you do have thousands of strange coins and you want to waste some of them, you can always buy this stealth drive vehicle upgrade. What we'll just do is turn your blue rarity sparrow into a legendary rarity sparrow and say it with me. We'll give you the color of the contro as denoted by the player card on the screen. So if we go ahead and we take a look at my... Ooh, look at that. God damn, it's my future war cult sparrow. Everybody's all like, oh my god, I got the gallery wing. I got a future war cult sparrow, motherfucker. <laughs> Eat my balls at. <laughs> I think that Vicodin might have already kicked it. I think so. But you can see, this used to be a blue ready sparrow. Now it leaves an unusual green trail because I bought the green upgrade. Gave me a green contrail. And it was denoted by the player card as shown on the screen. <laughs> So, my name is Jay. More than after kill, I want to thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. If you can leave a thumbs up on the video, I'd highly appreciate it. Because it's a great motivation to make more videos for y'all motherfuckers to watch my motherfucking videos. We are looser than a motherfucking gooser. Let's go ahead and uh, turn back my HUD on a little bit. Say hi to all these motherfuckers. Pick it up. Their uh, are ramifications or... Reparations. Uh, that's that's the wrong word. Um, yeah, his inventory. <laughs> Go ahead, pick up your warlock boots. Pick up a little bit of infused fuel. Maybe that celestial beast talking. Hopefully next week we'll see him bring them hunter boots, the frosties that I've been hunting down. Especially I'm rocking this artifact that removes my sprint cooldown penalty. I would I'd like to have the fucking boots to match that that make my grenade and melees recharge while sprinting because all I do is sprint, sprint, sprint. <laughs> he bought the transvestite! Yeah, the transvestite! Oh my god! Oh my god, it's so politically incorrect. <laughs> so, like I said, it's Jay. We're an after kill. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna see y'all motherfuckers later.